Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first ever video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you exactly how to make your own professional WordPress themes. In this series of videos I will be teaching you how to develop the following theme. Uh, this theme can be found on Theme Forest. It costs around five bucks. If you don't want to purchase the theme that's fine as well, I think you can still follow along. But I think it's only fair to the original for this item that we do pay up uh, away. So without further ado, this is the theme we'll be creating. I think this is a great theme for a beginner developer to get stuck into. Uh, there are some nifty features which we can really get stuck into to learn little bits of front-end development along with the back-end. So I'll take you through this theme and everything else we need to get started. So this is the original theme. A link will be placed below this video to show you where you can get it from. And in this theme, we have a nice little drop-down box up here, which we'll create. So when we click on this box, uh, more information will pop up, maybe different offices. And when we click on these offices, the data up here, such as the phone number, the opening times, and the location will change. And then coming down, we have a slider. We may implement a slider, or we can simply set a background image uh, with some content. And then further down, it's quite a clean layout, so we have some images, some texts, and some layouts. And if we scroll through, here I think is a nice feature. Uh, it could be used for some sort of services. When you hover over these items, uh, the box may pop up, showing more content, and then we can click to read more. Down below is a testimonial section. Now I have noticed with this design, there's two testimonial sections, this section here, and this section here and we'll probably only implement one because I don't really see the need to implement two different types of testimonials coming down then there's some sort of data items which usually uh, count up when you scroll upon them so we'll probably implement that underneath this could be a section with the brand you've worked with when you hover over them the items then come to be more prominent Scroll down further, there's a call to action section. It's quite simple, just a background image. Maybe we'll create some in uh, like a parallax background here. Underneath, there's a blog section, which we'll use the WordPress blog to pull in uh, the latest blog posts. And the contact form. I think every website needs a contact form, so this will be another interesting section to create. Um, maybe we'll use contact form 7, which is a great plugin. So we can get you learning how to install plugins as well. Um, finally, is a standard footer with uh, email sign up, um, maybe company information, pulling more data from the blog, and a link to all the other sections of the website. So I think that's a really good theme to get started. And there's one final thing you will need to create this website um, go over to my website it's www.wearethecode.uk forward slash tutorial hyphen business hyphen layout and you you can put your details in and I'll send the download assets to you of the blank WordPress theme which we will uh, begin to develop upon now this isn't the design this is the actual development part so this part is optional but it will save you quite a bit of time in setting up a new blank theme so I hope that sounds all good. And one thing I wanted to cover, this is a development tutorial. We won't be building this website with page builders or drag and drop plugins. Everything you see here will be created by code. And I think that's the best way to develop WordPress websites. So you're in charge of every part of the website. There'll be no junk code. And I imagine you'll learn a few things along the way. So I will be releasing these videos as a sequence. Um, of, of course, this takes a long time to do and I will be editing and along with my full time job as a developer, it may take a lot of time to get these videos out. So of course, please subscribe underneath. And when you do that, you'll be updated when I release a new video. So thanks for your time and let's get started.